Hello everyone, my name is Brie and welcome back to my two-part series where I'm sharing how I turn an odd-shaped room in my bedroom into my dream closet. In my first video, I shared the installation. Now in this video, I'll share with you all the fun things like the lighting and the finishes and also the big reveal. And then at the end, I'll tell you how much this entire project cost. So let's go ahead and jump right back in. So the first thing I wanted to fix here was this boob light. It always cracks me up how accurately describes that type of fixture. I have updated almost every single light fixture in our house, and I feel like it always makes such a big impact on the room. One of my best tricks is to use electrical tape before you put on the wire nuts. That way you can move it around and you don't have to worry about them falling off constantly. So I wanted you to note here how yellow the light bulbs were. I am really picky about my light color. So I've switched all the bulbs in my home to 4000 Kelvin. I love this color because it's just so neutral and white. It's not too yellow, not too blue. And I feel like when you have that in every single room, it makes everything look cohesive and very beautiful. Look at what a huge difference that made. And now for the exciting stuff. These hangers I found on Amazon and they were a wonderful value. I was so excited to get them out and check them out. And so far I can report the quality has been really good. I've had a couple break, but the rest of them have been really strong and I feel like for the price, it was worth it. Now I needed to add back in my rug. I had this rug previously, so I just put it back in. I bought this upholstered bench used the day I went to go get all my lumber at Lowe's. It was one of the items that were in my car. And I am so excited to have it because I have that huge storage compartment for extra storage. My plan is to keep seasonal items in there. Um, that way I can always have everything in my closet, but it adds such a nice element to the room. And now it's time for the most anticipated part of this whole project, bringing in all my clothes, organizing them, switching the hangers over. I was so excited. It was like Christmas for me. You might notice on my forehead there is a mark. That is from running my forehead into those upper shelves, not once, but two times. I was pretty mad at myself for doing that, but thankfully now I'm used to the height and that hasn't happened again. It feels so satisfying organizing your things and getting them looking their best. And now it is time for the final reveal. Before I had to dig under all of my clothes to try to figure out where my shoes were and now they are so beautifully displayed. As well as my sunglasses now, I love this acrylic stand. It just looks so beautiful. I've had this story stand for years. I love that it's a mirror, plus it just keeps everything from getting tangled. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. I'm so incredibly happy with the way that this project turned out. I completed it about six months ago and it still brings me so much joy every time I walk in here. It would have been a lot easier to just turn it into an office or storage room, but I think it's so important to create things in your life that bring you joy. Plus, I'm able to finally see all of my clothes and my shoes and my handbags with this nice large closet. More organization equals way less stress. So what can you do in your home to create something that brings you joy? And that can even be just taking your own closet that you already have and just organizing it and making it less stressful for you. So now as a bonus, I wanted to share with you how much this whole project cost. So down below, I went ahead and did a huge price breakdown as well as linked all my materials, but the grand total for this cost 581. The brackets were the biggest expense. They were $200 for five because they were special ones. Um, but if you were just gonna do a regular straight bracket, you could do this project in your closet for 425. I just really hope that this inspired you to find ways to create something in your own home. And if you have, I would absolutely love to hear about it. So feel free to share it in the comments below. And then also, if you liked this and you'd like to see other renovation projects, feel free to subscribe. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.